Can you imagine how much more complicated the goal of NASA to land a person on the moon would have been if the Earth would have had 79 moons like Jupiter does? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the moons of the planets. Moons are also known as natural satellites that orbit a planet or asteroid. There are over 200 moons that vary in size and shape. Some have atmospheres, some have oceans, and some moons even have moons that orbit them. Let's go through the planets and list their moons and a couple interesting facts. Up first, Mercury, which has a grand total of zero moons, along with Venus. Sorry guys. Earth has one moon, but it is a great moon and it orbits the Earth in 27.3 days, and we landed there and walked on it. Mars has two moons, Deimos and Phobos. Deimos is smaller than Phobos, which has a huge crater as a distinctive feature. They were discovered in 1877 by Asaph Hall. Jupiter has 79 moons. Here's a list of all of them and their names. For the largest moons, Callisto, Europa, Ganymede, and Io were discovered by Galileo in 1610. Io is very, very volcanic. Up next, Europa's surface is mostly water, and there's evidence that it may be covering an ocean of water or slushy ice beneath. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system, and Callisto's surface is heavily cratered. Saturn has 82 moons. Saturn's moons range in size from the giant moon Titan, which is larger than Mercury, to some moons that are only one or two kilometers in diameter. Titan is the largest and spherical in shape, while others have odd shapes, like a sweet potato, or maybe a regular potato, or a spicy meatball, or even a sponge. Uranus has 27 moons. Here's a list. The moons of Uranus are unique because they're named for Shakespearean characters. Oberon and Titania are the largest Uranian moons and were the first to be discovered in, eight, in 1787. Here's a picture of the six largest moons. We have Puck, Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania, Oberon. Neptune has 14 moons, and here's the list. Triton is the largest of Neptune's moons. It is one of the largest moons that orbits in the opposite direction of the planet's rotation, a retrograde orbit. And then here's a picture of the seven innermost moons. Notice the difference in size of these moons. If you'd like to know more about moons and planets, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.